Hello everyone and welcome to the 12th devlog of Slimeland Evolution. In this devlog I finally decided how to make the bonus present appear after you guys dropped some really great ideas on the previous video and I also have to share some special news at the end so stay tuned. If you are new to the series, Slimeland is an incremental slash idle game about stranded slimes on an island. You can fuse them to discover new and more powerful forms, gather jelly from producers that you can also power up and send your slime army to conquer hostile islands, defeating the evil slime spirits. All of that will be available on mobile and PC. Also, alpha testing is on its way. So without further ado, what you are seeing here is a little water effect that I created in A-Sprite. While playing and having the time of your life, you will notice something happening at random positions under the ocean. Oh, what's this? Let's click on it and find out. The present just jumped out of the ocean and landed on our island. I spent quite some time on this effect since it was important to me to make it look good. It's not perfect by all means, I have to add some water splash particle effects, play a squeeze down animation as soon as the present lands and also add some dust effects to it. This movement is not pre-made with animations, but it's coded in script with very smart mathematics involved. Why? Because I'm smart. Just kidding, I was actually forced to code it since the present can and will appear at random positions, so it should be able to jump from wherever to the island. This little animation explains exactly how all this works. The start point is where the present is instantiated, the final point is the island and the top control point is calculated based on the previous two in order to achieve the smooth and curved movement. It is fascinating how easy looking things in games we play actually need a lot of work and tricks to achieve. Some last words for the present are that when opening it, you have the chance of getting a random gift that could be a rewarding amount of jelly, some golden premium jellies or a slime that will appear on the island. So it's very worth it to click on it whenever it spawns. Let's move on to the next topic of this week. I mentioned earlier that you can attack hostile islands, right? If you have been wondering how that will work out, let me explain. I added a new button to our UI that represents the map of Slimeland. Clicking on it will transport us above the clouds from where we can see every island that we can attack. Currently I just added the cloud appear effect that gives the illusion of a scenery switch. All I do is deactivating the camera which is seeing our island with slimes and activate a second camera that is seeing our overworld map. Doing so, a smoother and faster transition is achieved compared to having a whole new scene just for that. So after recording this video, I will try to sketch the world of Slimeland and maybe get some inspiration of real world locations. Pokemon maps are somehow what I want to achieve. Instead of cities, there will be islands and when you click on one, you will see its full info like name, attack power, recommended level to attack and rewards you get. More about that and in more detail will be available in the next devlog, so in order to don't miss it out, click on the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about it. Doing these easy clicks really helps me a lot to grow the channel and share my ideas and tutorials with more game devs out there. Thanks a lot! Ok, finally, let's talk about the best part of today's devlog. Slimeland Evolution is going to get a new pixel artist. A couple of weeks ago, an awesome pixel artist named Nitpicky contacted me over on Discord in order to help me out on the game. Let me show you some of his creations. Needless to say, I agreed and now we work together to bring new life to Slimeland Evolution. We started by recreating some of the slimes that are already in the game to see and test new things out. Later we will move on to the slime spirits in order to populate some hostile islands and at that point I will also start to implement the fight system. It will be awesome and I am so excited about this. Nitpicky, thanks a lot man for believing in the game and for being so helpful. The link to his portfolio is in the description below for you to check out. I promise he reads all your comments so what else do you want to see from him? Let him know if you have something on your mind. With all that said, we are at the end of today's devlog. Thank you all for watching and for enjoying my content. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video and if you want to continue the game dev talk, our discord aim club awaits you.
keep developing and I'll see you in the next one.